Hey, it's Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to show you a quick way to navigate Morningstar.com if you're new to it. And it does change often, so every six months it could look a little different than it will today. So let's get into it. Let's just uh, open up our browser and go to Morningstar.com. It's a free version. This is free. It's got a lot of ads you have to navigate, but it does give us the information that we need for our assignment. And in, once you get into Morningstar, you want to go to Search Quotes and Cite. Now, your first one, I'm having you look up Microsoft. Uh, if you know the stock picker symbol, you can use that, which is MSFT. Or you can just type in Microsoft like I did. Now, it'll come up with some possible results. And usually, the first one says Microsoft Corporation, MSFT. That's the correct one. So click on that one. The next screen you'll see uh, may have some ads up front, but just realize that, you know, just navigate down a little bit. Initially, you're just given some general information like the current stock price and all that. That's really not what we are after today. We are after the financials and the key financials we want is revenue for so many years. Uh, in this case, we're looking for 2018 to 2022. And you may say, well, how can they report 2022? financials because it's still 2022 and the reason being uh, Microsoft closes out their fiscal year I believe it's June 30th so they've already reported now next step once you're here you want to go midway on this list of possible tabs and you want to select financials and so click on financials and that will take us a little deeper into Morningstar for our particular company. You'll see financial statements there. It's uh, on income statement. Um, they're kind of giving you general income statement stuff. So just realize you're just going to get some nice graphs, but not exactly what you're looking for. Uh, you may see, you know, obviously revenue and net income here, which is what we're after, but not all the years that we need are presented. So the key here is to go down to expand detail view and click on that. And you'll get more of a spreadsheet look to this and some details you need to pay attention to for when you do your on your own projects and not this practice one but look up here to make sure it's US dollars USD is US dollars and it's in billions so every number I see I gotta think billions so for instance the 2018 figure for um, total revenue is a hundred and ten billion um, and that's how you should read that that would be a hundred and ten billion and three hundred and sixty million dollars so yes that is notated because honestly on a spreadsheet you don't want to see all the zeros laid out there you just know they're going to notate it sometimes in Morningstar depend on the company it'll be US dollars in millions sometimes so that's why it's key to pay attention to what denomination it's working in is it US dollars is it Korean won what is it so USD is, is obviously US dollars and make sure it's millions or billions or thousands or whatever it could be here so pay attention to that now you you will see 2018 figures for total revenue 2019 2020 here and we can scroll to the right to see 2021 and 2022 values also down here let me just show you when we get into um, net income you gotta scroll down a little bit and you'll see several net incomes and you'll think well which one you know do I select well actually they're all they're all reporting the same exact amount so it really doesn't matter which one you pick and uh, again that would be sixteen billion five hundred and seventy million dollars for 2018 net income okay and uh, now going down to show you um, how to um, scroll to the right to see values for 2020 and 2021 and 2022 because like i said microsoft has already reported because since they end in june 30th of 2022 for their fiscal year and so you'll find values for 2022 there so it's 198 billion 270 million dollars for the revenue for 2022 and down here again net income you're going to be scrolling down to any one of these net incomes 72 billion 740 million for their net income amounts for 2022. So all those values are there for 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. So you have five years. And it's good to have five years when you can get it for um, 
reporting results because that shows that can show a trend five years four years five years both are good for showing a trend and since you have five years I want you to use five years for this Microsoft example all right so that's how to navigate it and then you know I will have you create a simple Excel sheet that will show um, the year and we'll have it for both revenue and net income so we can kind of look at the trends there and build off of that so that's how you extract and that's how you navigate from morningstar.com i hope this was helpful for you